Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, then welcome. My name is Rachel and I am a disruptor in the accounting industry. I'm disrupting what it means to be an accountant, what it feels like to have an accountant, and showing you the behind the scenes of what running an accountancy practice really looks like. In today's video, I'm talking all about the QuickBooks Accountant Certification. If you're not new here and you are a subscriber, you might have noticed that I'm in a different location, and that's because today I am at my desk to show you, talk you, and walk you through the QuickBooks certification. So QuickBooks is one of the industry leaders when it comes to accounting software. Both small and medium-sized business owners use it to track their finances, process their payroll, file their VAT returns, and keep that financial rhythm within their companies. By earning the QuickBooks certification, you can demonstrate not only your core bookkeeping and accounting skills, but also build and improve your competency within QuickBooks. If you're an accounting student and you're seeking a job in finance, then the certification can actually enhance your job opportunities, add third-party validation of your skills, benchmark you against other candidates, and boost your CV in a competitive field. If you own your own practice, completing the QuickBooks certification and then going on to complete the Pro Advisor certification, this can land you a free listing on the QuickBooks directory, which creates almost a quarter of a million leads worldwide annually. You'll get free access to QuickBooks Online, payroll and time tracking, along with unlimited phone, chat and email support. The QuickBooks certification gives you access to premier marketing resources to distinguish your firm, get leads and build your brand online. Within that package, QuickBooks actually give you certification badges to let prospects know that you are an expert. They'll give you discounted email marketing through Constant Contact, discounted Squarespace website builders, ProAdvisor merch, and we all know the only thing better than a pen is a free pen. So what are the requirements of completing the QuickBooks certification? So you can get certified across the entire package of QuickBooks products, which includes QuickBooks Online, QuickBooks Online Advanced, QuickBooks Desktop, QuickBooks Desktop Enterprise, and QuickBooks Online Payroll. There are no specific requirements for earning the QuickBooks certification. And if you're just starting out on QuickBooks, you can use the QuickBooks training to help learn all about the different skills needed to prepare you for your first exam. If you're more well-versed in QuickBooks, you can actually just hop straight in and take the test. After receiving your QuickBooks Online certification, you can then earn the QuickBooks Online Advanced certification. This certification comprises of an eight hour self-paced course and teaches advanced features like job costing, inventory, and complex problem solving. Each year, certification holders must pass a short recertification exam. So if you're wondering what skills you'll learn by taking the certification, the certification covers five essential components. So these include online administration, sales and money in, suppliers and money out, basic accounting and reporting. The following list actually represents a few of the many learned skills associated with the certification. So you're going to learn about setting up a company and identifying the automated tasks. You'll then learn about recording invoices and sales receipts and managing payments. Next up, you'll come on to activating expense tracking by connecting bank and credit card accounts, setting up and running payroll, and understanding QuickBooks financial reports. So is the QuickBooks certification worth it? Yes. So many companies use QuickBooks as their accounting software and actually by earning the QuickBooks certification, you're validating your knowledge and you can boost your career or your personal practice. Understanding QuickBooks at this level means that you really can get the most out of the software and use it to maximize the results for your clients or for your company. So without further ado, let's get into how to complete your Pro Advisor certification. Okay, so in order to get started and to find the right place, because there are a couple of different ways to find it, and so I'm just gonna show you the easiest way. So you need to set up an accountant's profile on QuickBooks and not a regular account. And so I'm just going to Google QuickBooks Online Accountant to show you exactly how to find it. Okay, and so I'm literally just gonna click on the sign up for free option. Okay, so I've just filled in the details. So it's just asking me for my email address, my first name, my last name, my mobile number, and my password. And so I'm just gonna click continue. Okay, so lots of people will get stuck at this point because QuickBooks will ask you for the name of your accounting firm. 
If you don't have your own practice yet, or if you're completing the certification to add to your CV and you don't own your own practice, then it doesn't have to be an official business name. You can just use this box to tell QuickBooks what you want to call your firm. So you can just use Rachel Loves QuickBooks or just your own name. So this is what your online accountant dashboard will look like. And so we are just going to dismiss what's in here. If you are an accountant and you do have your own practice, this is where we'll be able to see all of your clients. But in order to get to the right place, we are just gonna go over here to the Pro Advisor tab. And now we're gonna click on Pro Advisor Training. Okay, so when we're in the training tab, this is what it will look like. Also, don't forget that QuickBooks do update this and this is only what the screen looks like at today's date. So don't worry or don't panic if it's changed since then. If you are in the training section of the Pro Advisor tab, then you are in the right place. Okay, so you can see here uh, with the different tabs, so we've got the training homepage, which you can always come back to even when you are certified. It tells you what's new in QuickBooks. It can tell you exactly where you're at in your training journey or how long you've got until you need to get recertified in QuickBooks. If we head to the certification hub, this will tell you exactly where you're at. And so as you can see, it's gonna show you that you can actually choose between self-paced learning or online sessions. And so if you are brand new to QuickBooks, which I'm going to assume that you are, if you are not, you can jump in the timestamps just straight ahead to the take exam and get certified section. However, I'm just gonna show you around. So as you can see, QuickBooks is telling us that our plan of action is to do some self-paced training. And again, it knows that we haven't done any training yet. So it's pointing us in the right direction. Then we'll prepare to get certified and then we'll take the exam. So within your path, you can see that QuickBooks is helping you by breaking down the certification and the learning into different sections. So we've got the different solutions, we've got getting started, then we've got sales and customers, we've got expenses and vendors, banking, reporting, managing your work team and your clients, and then how to complete a year end. If I just click into, into one of these to show you, you can see that within each section, it just gives you a roadmap. It tells you how long it's gonna to take to complete that e-learning, which again, makes this super accessible in terms of hopping in, hopping out, but tracking exactly where you're at with each piece. And so if you're gonna complete this training start to finish, I would definitely recommend it does sort of flow in an, in an intuitive order. And so I would recommend starting at the top and working yourself the whole way through. Again, at the top, QuickBooks is really, really good at giving us a percentage and letting us know how far through the training we are. Then once you've done that and you've got that up to 100% and you are prepared for your exam, you can just go through some very quick certifications. Um, there are some bits that tell you how to get certified, topics that are gonna come up in the exam, and you can actually practice with some sample questions if you are a bit nervous. And then you can simply take the exam. It's just one click of a button. It's worth letting you know that there is no time limit on the exams. So you don't have to rush yourself or time yourself. You just need to complete the exam section by section. You've got three attempts to pass the exam. And then once you've completed all sections, you can submit and you need a pass mark of 80%. Okay, so that was how to complete your QuickBooks certification. Uh, the certification has been a really, really important part of my journey as an accountant. We are a QuickBooks certified firm. We actually receive lots of leads into our business and we take on clients into our firm because they find us using the QuickBooks Pro Advisor directory. And so encouraging people to get certified is definitely part of my job. Uh, it's also something that we ask all of our employees to do before they start with us. Also, as somebody that hires accountants, if somebody already has their QuickBooks certification, that is a big tick when I am reviewing their CV. So if you're applying for jobs in finance, but you don't have experience yet, actually putting on your CV that you've completed this training course is a great way to make yourself stand out. Let me know in the comments how you found this video. If you found it really helpful, please let me know. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you enjoyed this content, the very best way to support me as a creator is to hit the subscribe button so that you get a notification every time I release a juicy video like this one. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today and I hope to see you again very soon.